How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Honolulu Family Virtual Story Time. I'm Stephanie Lum from Hawaii News Now. Today I'm going to read you a personal favorite of my boys, Kai the Opihi Gets the Point. It's written by Gail Omoto, Jan and Judy Dill, and illustrated by Garrett Omoto. There once was an Opihi named Kai. He was a very sad opihi, and I'll tell you why. His shell was very flat, you see, not big and pointed like it was supposed to be. Most opihi have shells that point to the sky. Whenever Kai saw the others, he wanted to cry. His five friends tried to help him. They each thought they knew how to make Kai shell big and pointed too. His first friend, the Puhi, was quick to take the lead. I know Kai, he said, eat lots of seaweed. His second friend, the Honu, was much bigger than he. Build your muscles, she said. Swim along with me. His third friend, the He'e, thought his advice was best. It's simple, Kai. Just get lots of rest. His fourth friend, the Eva, thought hard and long. She finally told Kai, try singing a song. His fifth friend, the Papai, looked up from her hole. Keep yourself clean, she said. Make that your goal. Kai tried all of these things that his friends had said. Yeah, look, he's eating a lot. He's swimming on the Honu's back. He's getting lots of rest. And hey, he's relaxing and playing some music. But his shell didn't change. He got tired instead. Poor Kai was so sad. He cried and cried. I'll never have a pointy shell, he thought with a sigh. And while he sat trying to find his way, he remembered his tutu and wondered what she would say. He does look so sad. So Kai traveled all day and traveled all night and soon he was at Tutu's house explaining his plight. Tutu Opihi was gentle and wise. She listened to Kai with love in her eyes. What do you do when a wave comes your way? I get scared, said Kai, so I never stay. The waves are so big and I am so small. If the waves crashed on, crashed on me, I would be nothing at all. Hmm. Well, Tutu smiled kindly and said, Kai, come near. The next time a wave comes, cling tightly and don't fear. You mean hang on to a rock? Won't the wave wash me away? No, said Tutu. You can hold on all day. I'll give it a try, said Kai with a grin. And the very next day, he went out for a swim. He stretched out on a rock and basked in the sun. And when he saw a wave coming, he wanted to run. And then he remembered what Tutu said and decided to stay and hold on instead. Kai made up his mind and he didn't run. And at the end of the day, he said, this is fun. He hung on all day 
and he hung on all night and the waves couldn't budge him despite their might. He hung on for days and days without end and one day he heard a shout from a friend. Look at your shout, Kai. <gasps> it's pointed and strong. Clinging to the rock was the answer all along. Kai saw his reflection bright and clear in the sea. And he said to himself, can this really be me? Whoa. And then he jumped up and down. Yay! And it gave a big cheer. Tutu was right. Always cling and never fear. Oh. The lesson of the story, be brave. Be courageous. Don't give up. Don't be afraid. Everything's gonna be all right. That's what happened with Kai, thanks to the great wisdom from his tutu. I hope that you all enjoyed this book. I had a lot of fun spending some time with you. Have a great day. Aloha, everybody.